What is up you guys? Thank you for watching this Spade Shades video. Today I'm going to be bringing you a, re a review over the Madison Steelers deck. It's been quite some time since this deck has come out, but I just decided to pick some up because I was kind of on the fence about it because I wasn't sure how I felt about the design. Um, but since buying them, I'm really, really happy I did. They're all actually a lot better than I anticipated. So we'll get straight on into it because I'm trying to make it a really, really super quick review. The idea behind this deck was to create a deck that felt like it was cut from steel or it was actually made of steel. So they started that straight out with the box and giving it this sort of steel look. You can see how shiny it is. And it's kind of hard to describe, but if you've ever felt unsanded um, metal, it kind of has a rough grainy feeling. And this deck box has that, which is really a really nice touch. Now they didn't continue printing inside the box, but you know that is what it is, I guess. So you have two jokers that are really bold and just say the joker. Uh, since this deck is so simple in effect, I'm not going to be putting up still images. So you're going to see the two jokers here that just say the joker with the sort of steel print in them, and you can see that there's a nine of clubs reveal in that joker. Um, and then you get into the deck design. You can see that it's printed all the way to the edge. It is a full bleed deck design. And it looks like sort of the diamond plated toolboxes or diamond, uh, diamond plate metal. Uh, so they did a really good job at that. And after watching a video Daniel Madison made, I was told that they tried to make it look like the back design to a B deck. That he wanted something that looked like the B decks. Printed all the way to the edge with the diamonds but looked like steel and you can see in a comparison there that they did a pretty good job um, overall I think they did a really good job at capturing that effect so you can see the face cards are standard um, aside from the fact that the king of spades has the face of the deck designer and the king of diamonds of course has the face of Daniel Madison here I believe I went past the king probably did no maybe it's back here Yep, there it is. The King of Diamonds has the face of Daniel Madison on it. And lastly, we come to the Ace of Spades. Now, they kept the standard um, Madison Ace, the big prominent Ace on the front of the thing. I should have a Daniel Madison deck here on hand. Um, so you can see they kept the same Ace design and just printed it with that sort of steel motif. Um, so that's pretty much the extent of it. Like I said, all the face cards are just recolored with a sort of, with a um, a silver foil um, ink. You get a Madison Presents ad card, and you get a double backer. So um, this deck is the third in the Madison. Actually, nope. I'm sorry. This is the second deck in the Madison Presents range behind the Lions Den deck. And uh, that is the Mad those are the Madison Steelers. I think they could have done a bit more um, with printing inside the box. But all in all, a really great deck. Handling, 9 out of 10 as well. So a really high rating for this deck. Really well made. Uh, if you haven't picked up any yet, I think they're, they might be sold out on Illusionist. Whenever I picked mine up, they were down to the last 200, I believe. But if you haven't picked these up from Illusionist or from some other seller... I highly recommend that you do so because it really is a pretty cool deck and it's pretty cool to pull out and use. So anyways, that is my review over the Madison Steelers. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.